When teams recognize that there's, there's opportunity for improvement, they often turn to the toolbox and pull out the tool called norms and say, okay, how can we set a new set of norms that are gonna set this team on a different direction, a different trajectory? Is that something that you do? So there are times when it is effective to have a conversation about norms, what are the norms of practice that we have in this team and what are the ground rules we wanna use. We often find that when it's used at the start of a team or just as a let's stop everything and change it now sort of approach, there comes up a list and sometimes not everybody's contributed to this list, this great list of aspirations of this is the way we wanna show up. And it's a document, people are excited about it, and then it ends up in a file somewhere. And people don't refer to it live on a day-to-day -day basis. So great intentions, it doesn't get enacted in practice. So the key is that something happens to those. And so it can't be this huge list of things nobody can remember. If there's just a few and it's mentioned at the start of every meeting and every time somebody violates that norm, there's a reminder of it. That's different. In addition, I will say the most effective kind of norms actually aren't set out up front as one blunt force instrument. It's something that emerges in practice right in the moment when the team collectively recognizes a need. So for instance, they're spinning around in circles, everybody's interrupting one another, and they're realizing they're not hitting their goals. And somebody says, you know what, we're just stuck in this pattern, or there's a coach who brings to their attention, you know, I'm noticing this pattern of interrupting. And they realize, yeah, this is the reason why we're actually not completing our conversations, why we're not getting our decisions made. Okay, well, what do we wanna do about it? If at that moment they set a norm, we're not gonna interrupt each other because we realize in this moment how critical that is for our functioning, that's the norm they're gonna remember, they're gonna stick to, versus they say it in the abstract beforehand, we think this is a really good thing to do. So just one norm at a time that's really impactful for the team, that's what we find has staying power. Totally agree, and I have a client that did a bit of a hybrid. What they've decided to do, this team, is to do one norm a month. So they have a weekly meeting every Tuesday morning for an hour and a half. And the first meeting of the month of those is dedicated towards people issues and also the team. And at that meeting, they talk about one new norm. And what they do is they go over the past month's worth of working together and they collectively decide what is one new norm we could add to our team norms that would really help us do something better than what we experienced over the past month. And they put that norm in and they commit to doing it for a month. And they do something more. They assign one team member as the guardian of the norm. And it's that person's job for that month and thereafter to really keep the team accountable to adherence to the norm. And it's been very effective for them. So it sounds like what you're doing is helping teams create new habits. Yes, absolutely. One at a time, in the moment, relevant and applicable. So um, what I think is really interesting here is the role a leader can play in helping a team not lose time over figuring out what norms they need in order to be able to function effectively. So when a team is getting set up or when there are new members, an insightful leader can really point out the beginnings of dysfunctional mm -hmm. behavior, call them out and say, we don't do things like that here, or can you try it this way? And immediately, before there is even um, an opportunity for these habits to habitualize, they've been stopped. And it becomes a culture where people just shift their behavior according to what's being role modeled and pointed out by the leader. I think that's really important. And in a way, it's setting a new master norm. And the norm is when something happens that's not working, we talk about it. Right. Absolutely. And the leader can be really critical in that.